Hear ye, hear ye, this is Lord Potato, and this is What If Naruto with Suguru Ghetto, part one. Now, it's going to be short. I really did not have time to actually make this What If, but other than that, let me begin to this What If, but yeah. So, we begin into mostly, well, none other than Naruto. Well, mostly, we go into the whole thing, like, in Return Canon, kind of going the same, even with, like, Kakashi telling Naruto to just give up to the point in the tuning time, but yeah. But we go into that. So, mostly, while mostly Naruto was kind of thinking to give up, he was actually wondering if he should give up or not. Now, did I ever say this? Says this was the reincarnation of Naruto? Reincarnation of Sugurugato, but yeah. Now, if you don't know who Sugurugato is, uh, because I just, like, threw it in here, uh, if you have not watched, was it called, um, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, or haven't actually seen it, which you should, because I gotta go, wa uh, I gotta really go to the Shibuya arc so I can actually do some of my what ifs because um, people are waiting for the Jujutsu Kaisen what ifs, but yeah. But don't worry, I'll do that later. Probably. Maybe. Uh, but yeah. Also, if the guy the guy that usually comes here to ask me for the Jujutsu Kaisen what ifs, uh, just ask me or tell me in which Jujutsu Kaisen, do, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen what if do you want me to bring back? Like which one? Because I have so many of them. Um, but yeah, other than that, let me begin to switch, sorry. But we go into mostly, Naruto kind of, well, seeing that Kakashi literally gave up on him and went to go train with Sasuke only, and Sasuke only. Sasuke is still being an annoying fangirl, while everyone else went to go train by, him, uh, well, trained by their sensei. This is where Naruto has really no one to train. Really, he just has shadow clones. And that's all. That's his only jutsu that he has. This is where, well, mostly he doesn't understand why no one really likes him. He doesn't understand why all these monkeys dare to even believe that he's weaker than everyone else. People just glare at him because they don't understand that much about his existence or doesn't care about his existence or just doesn't even like his existence. But this is where, well, we go into mostly, well, in order to kind of just keep walking. Truly, no one really likes him in this village, and why should he even stay in the village? He wonders why. Why should he just listen to these monkeys, ramble on about their monkey's way and their monkey's whatever? He's been actually having, well, having these thoughts ever since he was younger. Ever since he killed someone when he was younger. He killed a civilian because the civilian was literally pissing him off because the civilian was talking so much shit. That the civilian literally just said that Naruto is nothing but a weakling. That anyone that he ever tries to go out or go uh, love or anyone would just become nothing but a fucking demonic worshiper. Just blah blah blah. Which was pissing off East, uh, well, piece, uh, pissing off Naruto to the point that Naruto just kind of activated an ability that he basically hid from everyone. And he only uses it when he has to kind of kill some demonic spirits or something. But this is where, well, he used a kind of, well, powerful, well, mostly attack against the civilian that killed him, like, basically when he was basically six years old. He also used this kind of ability to get away from mobs and other stuff. Now, when it came to Ambu just looking at him, he had to kind of suppress his ability so he wouldn't get uh, shown towards anyone. He's actually thinking of using it in the tuning sense, but he's then thinking maybe he shouldn't. Because why would he show it to the civilians? Actually, then again, he isn't going to actually stay here any longer dealing with such monkeys. Monkey this, monkey that, monkey all this. All these nothing but monkeys are daring to think that he would just stay as a loyal dog. Hmm. He's not some dog, some mutt that he can actually just, they can all walk around or walk upon, whatever. This is where, well... He's actually thinking of going rogue, but he doesn't know when it would be the perfect time to go rogue. Probably when the Hokage finally fucking kicks the bucket and dies. But he doesn't know if that will happen or not. This is where he sighs and says, hmm, still so annoying. So, so very annoying. Thinking when to actually escape this village. Or maybe I should I actually still deal with the spirits. Different sp maybe I should definitely still deal with the different spirits. Of well, this village, take all the evil spirits, come back and destroy them with their own spirits. Yeah, that's what I would do. 
Naruto starts walking away. His hair, instead of turning blonde, started turning black and longish. This is where, well, he wraps it into a ponytail, and this is where his eyes, instead of being like a crystallized blue, they are darkish blue, and this is where, well, he starts kind of walking into mostly the bad neighborhood of the village. This is where he changes Alpha from this orange jumpsuit to this like greenish and blackish Alpha. This is where, well, he kind of looked like a priest somewhat, but this is where, well, he kind of went on to just get rid of a bunch of evil spirits throughout this whole kind of like neighborhood place. When he just got rid of all the evil spirits in literally one month, he had so many demonic spirits and also the same time evil spirits are usually called. Their name is usually, he calls them cursed spirits, but at the same time there's also just, they're called evil spirits for him. But this is where, well, he has so many different spirits, so many different types of spirits. They're either range from murderer spirits, serial killer, uh, well mostly, yeah, ki uh, serial killer spirits, to just different types, just different at all, from to evil, to not lethal, lethal, you get the point. It's just ranging from a lot. And some of them did, some of those spirits did transform into a different type of spirit. It wasn't even humanoid half the time. Half of them were humanoid, half of them weren't. Some of them were like beast-like, some of them were like dragon-like, which he didn't really care. But he managed to exercise all of them. And now he has quite a lot of spirits that he can use either as hand-to-hand -hand uh, hand -hand combat weapon, uh, mostly just using it in his like hands, or he can also just launch them at mostly certain people. So think of it like mostly Devil May Cry. When you manage to kill one uh, devil, uh, yeah, kill a demon or a devil, whatever you like to say, and manage to get the orb, then it becomes a weapon. It's similar to that of how mostly Naruto is doing it. But yeah, but of course, where, well, Naruto, he basically still looks like Suguru Ghetto. He looked always like this. Ever since he was younger, his, when he actually activated this ability, his hair went black, his eyes went dark blue. It was actually, it seems like this ability was actually kind of like something that he was supposed to be born with, but for some reason had blondish hair and bluish eyes. He didn't understand and didn't care. He then kept the, uh, the Genjutsu every time. Just so people won't be confused about him. But they didn't really care too much. This is where, well, he didn't go, we didn't go into mostly a time skip about one month. One month has actually passed and now it's literally the kind of, well, well, mostly the, uh, what's it called? The tuning exams. Sorry if I can't think about it. But this is where, well, the tuning exams is starting and this is where, well, uh, we go into mostly everyone there except for Naruto. Naruto is not there because why would he want to be there? He's thinking of doing it. Maybe he's thinking. Maybe he's not. Who cares? Maybe he should definitely go against the Hyuga. The Hyuga's been quite arrogant and quite annoying, but he has quite a powerful spirit that's on him. Mostly, this spirit is none other than his father's. Mostly, a kind of uh, spirit that he developed in his mind. Mostly, thanks to the Hyuga. Hyuga developed in his mind, creating this evil spirit. This is where, well, Mostly with that happening, we go into mostly him kind of, well, going to decide to might fight him just to take the spirit away. Maybe he can actually attain the eyes without obtaining them at the same time. This is where, well, he decides to jump down anyway. He decides to land on the, what's it called, mostly ground. And of course, saw, well, Neji. Neji just looked at him right now confused, but then just sees how mostly Naruto just has a very friendly smile on his face. But it looks creepy as hell. This is where, well, mostly Neji just says, I see, so you didn't run away. Naruto says, you're right, I didn't run away. This is where the proctor says, begin then. This is where, well, mostly Naruto grins and says, well, it's time. It's time for you to die. This is where, well, before Neji can even understand what happened, this is where, well, literally his legs got attacked without him even noticing what exactly happened. This is where, well, he just kind of activated his eyes. He can't look at the spirit physically. Well, well, mostly, yes, uh, what's it called? Naruto can summon out the spirit, either to look invisible for other people, but also at the same time can be, what's it called, uh, shown somewhat, but not the point. This is where, well, 
Just well, well, mostly we go into mostly Neji confused. Neji right now kind of looks at Naruto, and Naruto just grins and says, "Huh? Oh, it seems that your legs are not working." Also, if you're hearing the fucking ambulance, I don't know what the fuck happened, but I don't care. Now, let me go back to the what if. But of course, the where well, Neji kind of just tried to summon out mostly a like was a car. Uh, tried to use his rotation, which he managed to, and a dragon still tried to smash into him because Naruto already sent it out. Naruto said, ah, so annoying. Everyone is seeing this, and people are thinking that Naruto has summoning animal style, which mostly they thought that he can now summon a dragon, which mostly everyone looks so shocked and confused. Except, well, a lot of people, no one actually was ever expecting this. This is where, well, Jiraiya was there, and he was shocked to see Naruto summon out a dragon. This is where, well, Naruto scoffed, seeing how mostly uh, Neji managed to evade that. Neji says, what the hell was that? Damn, I should really not get in trouble with this. This is where, well, we'll see something else happens. This is where, well, Naruto starts rushing towards him. But this is where he summons a bunch of bugs all around him. Mostly like these insects all around uh, Neji. And Neji starts trying to hit them off at once. But this is where he decides to use rotation once again. Just because how annoying these bugs are. But this is where Naruto appears. Right now appears with a blade. A blade that kind of looks like it to be in two different types. Or just a blade of like two blades itself. It stabs through the rotation. Erasing and nullifying the uh, rotation entirely. And it stabs upon Neji's neck. Neji was shocked. <laughs> this is where he tries to remove it. And tries to fight back against, well, mostly Naruto. Naruto didn't let that happen. Naruto says, you pathetic monkey. Understand this, you're nothing but a fucking monkey. This is where Naruto then just decide to grab the blade itself and just kind of lift it up instead of like doing what Toji does and kind of just taking it out or whatever. He started kind of lifting it up while Neji is struggling to stop Naruto from actually cutting his head off. Naruto did not care. He ripped his head off, just cut it off entirely. This is where, well, mostly Neji's head was right now flying up in the air, which everyone looked horrified. Naruto just killed Neji without a care in the world. This is where Naruto grins with a smile saying, you fucking monkey, understand your place. This is where, well, mostly Naruto noticed the spirit. The spirit that was supposed to be tried to protect Neji. It's like the spirit is supposed to kind of help him kind of see and be always paranoid and everything. But this is where, well, Naruto kind of then grabs it up in the air, mostly puts his hand up in there and says, come towards me. You will become mine. He kind of eats the spirit in an instant. It was none other than like Neji's uh, father, but not the point. This is where, well, mostly uh, Neji was none other than Kill. This is where Naruto managed to attain the eyes of the all seeing eyes. This is where, well, but of course they only turned palish white but for a second and then went back to a darkish blue. This is where, well, Naruto grins. He put the blade already away thanks to a worm that he kind of summons out and says, well, look at that. It seems that Hyuga is dead. What a fucking monkey. This is where, well, mostly Naruto said we had a care in the world. This is where everyone looks at him like shocked. This is where the Hyuga looks in angry. Mostly, Hiyashi wasn't expecting that Neji was killed in an instant. <laughs> he was killed by the demonic brat. This is where everyone looks horrified. Sasuke looks to shut the fuck up already. Because Naruto didn't just call Neji a loser or just kind of had any petty or pity or whatever against the Hyuga. No. Nor to call him a fucking monkey and just say, look at that. It looks like the monkey is dead. This is where everyone looks horrified at, well, Naruto. Naruto smirks under his face. But this is where I'm going to leave it off. For part one. Yes, I probably fucked up on a lot of things. Yes, I kind of did rush through it. Yes, I know, I know, I know. And... Mostly, I just wanted to upload something in this channel. Because yesterday, I really didn't upload anything. I was thinking of uploading something, but I just said, nah, never mind. And just said, screw it. I won't upload anything. But of course, I, I tried to upload today, but I felt lazy. And I was watching The Eminence of Shadow. So, yeah. So, other than that, I'm a little bit off here. So, have a nice potato day, potato night, potato sleep, potato potato. And good night, potato.